Mackey Motors in Lake City is the place to find new and certified used vehicles along with a knowledgeable and helpful sales staff. Find new roads at Mackey Motors in Lake City. And we want to welcome you back here to 93.7 KKRL here on the Mackey Motors Post Game Show. Tyler Bruner joining you here as Jeff Lincoln is, uh, I guess, doing his job here for tonight. We got Mabel Langle joining me here on the Mackey Motors Post Game Show. Uh, great effort from the girls in the second half here tonight, Mabel. Uh, just talk to me about that first half effort. I know probably not the way you wanted it to start off, uh, but what were some things they were doing your girls' guys' way? And what were some things that you just saw from uh, Riverside? Um, we weren't expecting them to have more such fast breaks, and um, we weren't sure like about how they were going to look, just knowing like, like they get better through the season. But um, their shooting was, uh, was kind of a surprise. We weren't ready for that, I don't think. Yeah, obviously that break was just kind of the killer there. You had to adjust pretty quickly to that. Um, I, I thought you guys adjusted well in that third quarter, went to more of a man-to-man -man defense. Uh, seemed to work very well, but uh, talk to me about, more about that first half. Obviously both teams, both you and Riverside, were facing some foul trouble early. What was kind of happening there? Um, I think it was just we needed to get square, get up to the basket, and we just need to, um, I think that's all we do. And then I think turnovers really kill us the first half, that we just need to figure the ball. Absolutely. Talk to me about that halftime uh, conversation with Coach Rasmussen. What were some things that he was trying to talk to your girls about uh, going into that second half? He was really talking about like taking care of the ball and like we needed to watch their out of bounds plays and where we need to watch um, and their shooters and stuff. And then he um, kind of matched us up like man to man, like who we wanted us to go with and stuff. And then we just went from there and just decided to roll in. Obviously, that third quarter went very well, outscoring them 22 to 12. What was sort of the change? Was it going to that man to man defense or were you guys able to see things? Riverside's offense in transition? I think it was um, kind of a little bit of both. Like their defenses, we were able to get more looks, and then also I think we were fighting, figuring out like how, how we're going to run the offense, and then finding those open spots where we go, and then we just had people like, you know, take it to the basket and get fouls. Obviously, in that, third, in that second half, I think you guys did a, did a much better job of, of holding off from the fouls. So, what was kind of leading to those fouls? Were just more reaches, just kind of that aggressive defense on both sides? What was sort of the thing that the refs were looking at you guys were just getting hold of? Um, so what were, who were some of the girls you saw on the floor tonight, and I mean, especially if you're yourself included on those three pounds, doing a very good job. What was sort of the thing that was changing, was it the conversations, the communication uh, between everyone? What was sort of the thing that clicked better? I think it was definitely the communication and just knowing that we need to box them out to get the rebounds because once you get your two fouls first quarter, you you got to box out and so you don't get any more. You don't want to get in foul trouble in the third quarter so you don't get to play. So. Obviously, you drop another 65-point game here tonight. Talk to me about that next matchup. What are some things you're looking to clean up before that night happens? Catch up with you later on in the season. Thank you.